Hey guys, so behind me is a Porsche 992 C2S Cabrio and I believe this would be one of the best sports cars to look at outside there if this is your price range because, you know, one of my favourite things about sports cars is having it as a Cabrio, right? It really elevates the whole experience of owning a sports car, you know? And um, it's a car that you can daily, it's a car that you can, you know, take it on weekend drives, it's a car that you can go on long trips and uh, especially with something like Evo Enduro, 6,000 kilometers to Thailand and back, uh, the Cabriolet experience just elevates everything, okay? So, um, I'm doing this video with a little bit of a personal agenda because, you know, I'm like a, you know, big um, advocate for Cabrios, but I hope somebody will pick up this car because it's at a pretty good price. Um, you know, Dave has just, you know, put this on, on sale on consigned cars. And I think it's actually a pretty good price. For the same price that you can buy a normal coupe, you can get a cabrio with a C2S version. And uh, the interior spec actually is pretty nice, right? So uh, let's do a quick video uh, with walk around and then we're gonna drive this car because I've um, never spent a lot of time with the 992. So it's nice to just refresh my experience with the 992. Uh, so let's go. What more do you need? How much more power do you need? If you're looking for the best protection for your car, look no further to expel. I put my cars through harsh conditions like constant B road blasting, road trips, and occasional track days, and I want my car to look the best. And Expel's Ultimate Plus Paint Protection Films never fail to protect the paint on my cars while keeping it looking amazing. All Expel's products, including prime window tints, come with an official e warranty from the manufacturer, which gives me an additional confidence and maximum peace of mind when using their products. And this allows me to be fully present and enjoy all my experiences with my cars wherever I go and whatever I do. Click the link in the description below to find out more about Expel's products and their official dealers in Malaysia. Protect everything you love with Expel. So there you go, 2019 Carrera C2S, okay? So this is the uh, S version, has more power. Um, I like the color, it's Carrera white with black, black and white like a panda team. I like this kind of muted uh, color scheme. So let me know in the comments if you like something like this or something more uh, colorful, but I like it because you can sort of blend in the crowd, you can go daily, you know, it's just my kind of color, right? Uh, satin black rims with white and black pack around, so no chromes, which kind of does it justice, the whole black and white team. Uh, even all the panels are all black and white here, so very nice. Okay, Porsche logo. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into full details on the exterior because you guys see many pictures and videos about the 992 already, right? But generally, it's a pretty decent looking car, right? And uh, let's get in and check out the interior, right? There's a comfort access, so the Handle pops up like that. Interior is very nice too. I like the combo. Black color with the checkered. Kind of elevates the whole interior without actually being too gaudy, too colorful. Fantastic, right? Alcantara, steering, and uh, full leather behind. Okay. Got a nice aluminum finish, spot chrono. Yeah, it has most of the specs that you want, except for the spot exhaust because. Um, the owner installed a tenier exhaust, I believe, because there's no spot exhaust equipped to this car, so he did a little aftermarket. I think the exhaust cost like, what, 30k or something, because it's a UK brand. Mm. We're going to see how it sounds like, because I haven't really driven this car yet, right? Uh, yeah, very simple. Little bit of red colour to match the rims. Very tasteful. And uh, the red colour seat belts. So this is all the interior. Um, as you all know, the rear seats are more of like a kid seat, dog seat, or... Uh, or your luggage space, right? Without further ado, let's uh, get this review started on the drive and see how it drives because I haven't been driving C2S or 992 for a while, right? Okay, so we are here in the cabin. We've dropped the top. First of all, damping is so nice. Uh, always reminded that the new 992s have a lot of good GT qualities. It's, it's more like a GT and the size kind of feels that too. 
and it's not entirely a bad thing, you know, it's like from sports cars to GT because the most people use this car as a daily and you know and if you're doing road trips for example the, the GT quality is very well very welcome. But that sounds pretty darn good, right? I'm on normal mode. Sure you can hear the whistle and all, but when the valves open, it is some type of nasty. <laughs> In a good way, okay? So that's normal mode. Tapping is just gorgeous. Look at that. We just went through some manholes and stuff. You wouldn't feel like it's a trade-off from your normal daily car or your normal 5 series. Okay, it's slight, slight trade-off, but you wouldn't feel like it's a like a losing trade. Okay. I'm gonna put it in spot and let me put it in spot plus right now, okay? Can't squeeze through that, right? So yeah, I think nowadays it's good to have sports cars that have the GT kind of uh, qualities, you know. Now personally, like me, who likes to really like push my car, I may not go for a car like this. Maybe I'm still in the age where I want something more sporty. It's like, you know, I want to have a proper sport shoes, you know, that, that really gets you in for the sport. But nowadays, there's a lot of like hybrid, right? You know, got the sport shoes, they're comfortable, etc. Right? So, you know, it's... This car uh, kind of gives you that sporty experience without making it intimidating or jarring at all, right? But let's see how it goes like because now we turn on the uh, the PADM, sorry, the, the uh, suspension to stiffer. Bloody hell! <laughs> Whoa! It sounds good! I mean, is it like NA? No. But would I say it's a bad sound? Nah! Listen to that. Bloody hell! That's fast! Wow. Yes, it sounds turbocharged, but it's all right. With the sports parts on, or sports mode on, the damper goes into the stiffer mode. Uh, is it uncomfortable? No, it's not. It's actually all right. It's still more comfortable than a GT4. More comfortable than uh, my Spider for sure. And. There's something about 992s, right? They, they are actually very comfortable. Like, I feel it's more comfortable than the Cayman, than the 718. Porsche does a really good job with their suspension. Sporty enough, but never feel too scary. And you know what's the best thing about Porsches? They are so reliable. Porsche has this ironclad, proven... Holy mama. This is fast. Very nice. Very nice, I like. I like this car. That has to be less than four seconds. That was fast. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Bloody hell. Good choice for exhaust, sir. Good choice. I hope the smile on my face is telling you something about this car. I don't think anyone will get in this car and say, I need more power. You don't need it. This is so fast. Okay, so I approach this car thinking that this could be your one car for everything sports car, right? It can be your daily. It's comfortable enough for daily even in the stiff suspension mode. Uh, it can be your sports car for your weekend drive. It's thrilling enough. The dynamics are good. Steering is accurate. Albeit a little bit numb because they're all electronic now. But I won't say that it's something that robs you of all the feeling that you don't know what's going on, right? It's accurate. You can place it where you want to go. There's a bit of feedback, just enough before it becomes jarring. Uh, and then you can do your long road trips. You'll be superbly comfortable in this car on your long trips. And with this exhaust, you can rip it open during the B roads and enjoy a little bit of sound. 
right? Sure, there's a compromise. It's not as visceral as a, let's say like a GD4 or an NA 3.8 screaming behind your ears. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have the NA for the 997 or 991.1. But it's a good trade-off for the amount of comfort, technology in the car and everything. It's a good trade-off. And the only reason why I don't I would not buy this car myself is because I've already got a, a convertible that I want to keep for life, that's a spider. But if I, let's say, arrive in a position where I don't have a, a convertible, or I'm, I'm right now, let's say, owning a 5 Series and I want to look into my first sports car, you know, maybe I have a 3 Series, I've made a bit more money, increased my income, time to enjoy a little bit. This is a very nice space to enter into the sports car world, you know something that you will look forward to drive and you wouldn't mind to daily it, right? Because as much as I like my Spider, it's not something that I'll daily, right? Because it's manual, it's stiffer. On the B roads, if, if I put myself in another GT4 and put myself here, of course the GT4 will be slightly faster because of its weight and the handling, but not by a far margin. It'll keep up, it'll keep up. <laughs> oh, and these PDKs, they're so fast. Right? So yes, it hit my hypothesis of this could be your one car for everything. And, a, and another good entry level into the sports car world. Right? You could go for a coupe. Don't. Go for a convertible. It elevates the whole experience. After work, feeling a little stress. At night, drop the top blast some music, cruise at 40 kilometers an hour or on the weekends, enjoy the morning breeze with your partner or your kid yeah, this is great Dave told me this car is going for a very good price I believe the price is matching of what a coupe would be right? so you're getting a convertible for a coupe's price and the mileage is pretty low. I believe it's 16,000 kilometers. It's quite new. Yeah. Almost brand new. For a price that otherwise you would pay for a non-cabriolet version. This will be a very safe choice. It will reward you in fun. It will be comfortable. Daily, GT, all in one. Let me just get down the car. Get out of the car and just show you how it looks like on the exterior. All right, so there you go, guys. That's the exterior of the 992 Cabrio with the roof down. Now, I'm of the cam that I've... This is not the best look, uh, but I know some people like the snail looking like butt, uh, but it's not... Even if you don't like it, it's not ugly either. So, so it's actually pretty cool. And uh, you can't compare it with the 718 because the 718 was conceptualized as a convertible first before the coupe. Where right? this is the coupe first, then the convertible. But you gotta fit the big engine in behind there and the cabrio mechanism. So I think it's pretty job job pretty well done, right? It's uh it's actually slick looking. Okay. So yeah, uh, nice spec, black and white, interior black and white, so it's all nicely themed. I think this is a perfect spec if I'm looking for a daily sports car, right? For me, this is for me, right? Convertible, check. Okay, uh, fast enough, check. Comfortable enough, check. Not even a trade-off for the comfort. Um, what else? It sounds not bad, right? It doesn't sound visceral like an NA, but sounds good, check. Uh, again, very fast, <laughs> right? Uh, color, fantastic, black and white, okay? Well, I'm repeating myself. But the other thing I really like is because it's a C2S. A lot of keen drivers would prefer the two-wheel drive version than the four-wheel drive. I know we get more grip with four-wheel drive, etc. But, you know, it, it's more interactive, in my opinion, just having the two-wheel drive. And I think this one comes with the rear-wheel steer, so it really uh, gives the car a really good driving experience. You know, uh, it's very hard to fault Porsche, isn't it? Porsche just do really good products, right? So this is one of them. Like I say, if I didn't have a sports car, and I'm going into my first ever sports car, and I have the budget for this, this will be it, right? I would stretch a little bit more and get this one, right? A very safe one. And the price now, I believe Dave is letting it go for around 700 plus. 
thousand ringgit, which is actually a you no. Know, if I look around the classifieds, it's what you get for a coupe for 2019 for higher mileage, etc. And they're yeah, used means that you probably have to get a used uh, car loan plus uh, um, interest rates. This one is unregistered, so you can you can get it at the uh, uh, unregistered new car interest rates. Okay. So if you want to get in touch with Dave to check out this car, um, you can either contact him. Uh, a consigned cars or maybe you send me a DM I'll link you up with Dave I'll make sure that he'll give you a good deal if you go through me um, yeah and maybe I want to capo a bit <laughs> busy body a bit because I would I would be so envious if anyone gets this car very very nice car okay so thanks for watching guys and uh, thank you again consigned cars for letting me drive this car and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the 992 C2S would be something that you'll get or what other um, alternatives you'll get right Thanks for watching guys and uh, keep it 100 as always. And as always, keep it 100. Love you guys and uh, peace out.